Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Steve Potter, Adobe Certified Expert and owner of the Rocket Banner Company, and welcome to our set of tutorials on creating selections in Adobe Photoshop CS4. And why create selections? Why did we spend so much time making, I think we ended up with uh, 10 or 11 lessons on creating selections? Well, the answer is this. It's, it's the gateway to creativity in Adobe Photoshop. By being able to create selections, by being skilled at creating selections, you open up a wealth of creativity inside Adobe Photoshop. And I have just a few examples set up here that I'd like to show you right now. And this first one is, um, well, it's a Porsche, okay, parked on the beach here. And let's say you wanted to change the color of the car without affecting the background. Well, what you're going to have to do is select just the car then. Uh, there are other ways to do it, but the best way is to select just the car and that will fully protect anything from happening to the background because the background will be masked. Okay, I've already created a selection right here. I'm going to load it now by holding down the control key and clicking on this thumbnail right ha here. This is a layer mask, but it's a selection nonetheless. And then I've already created an adjustment layer. I'm going to double click on the tab here and show you how easy it is now to change the color of this car. You can see we're changing just the car. We're not affecting the background at all because the background is masked. It is protected. Okay. And uh, anyone who's ever wanted a hot pink Porsche, there you go. But uh, I think this was originally yellow and I changed it to red. Now we can change it back to yellow. But you get the idea. Okay, let's deselect that by hitting Control D on the keyboard. Now let me show you how to create a soft vignette. Okay, something that's very popular. It's been around forever, but uh, I don't know how they did it when they had real photographs. But look how easy it is to do in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, all you do is create a elliptical selection around Abe here, and to do that, get the ellipse tool right here, the elliptical marquee tool. There's a little tool tip right there and set your feather now before drawing your selection set it to about 20 I think will work good for this image and then draw an ellipse just about like that there you go now what we want to do is invert that selection so right now we have Abe selected we're gonna select everything but Abe by hitting control shift I on the keyboard that inverted the selection and now we're gonna create a new layer by clicking on this little icon right here and we're going to fill that layer with white by hitting control backspace and that's going to fill that layer with the background color so control backspace and there you go let's deselect and there you have a nice soft 20 pixel vignette around Abe alright what else can you do w one of the uh, um, most used things with selections is um, selecting something and moving it into another image. That's, that's probably what selections are used for the most. Um, or um, creating a selection around someone's head, for instance, and, and putting it on someone else's body. Well, it's easily done once you master creating selections. I created a selection around this Toyota Prius right here using the pen tool right here, which creates actually vector-based paths. You can see it right here there's a vector based path well you can take these vector based paths and turn them into selection outlines by doing that I anti-alias just about everything say OK and now we have a selection of everything but the Prius once again we can invert that by hitting control shift I on the keyboard for invert and now we have just that Prius selected okay now you want to come back here and make sure you can see I've done some other things here but whatever layer you have highlighted now you're going to be pulling that selection out of that layer so what we want to do is move this into another image so I'm going to hold down the control key on the keyboard and that's going to give me the move tool on the fly and then I can move this into this image right here I just hover over it then I bring the car down and drop it and there you have it so there's, um, that's it. That's all you can do with the uh, creating selections in Photoshop. But not really. There's a, just a wealth of things you can do. That's uh, three examples right there. 
practice, learn the different tools. There's many different tools for creating selections in Adobe Photoshop. And once you become skilled at doing that, you, you're going to have a whole world of creativity open up to you. And I think you're going to enjoy the lessons. So go on and uh, jump right in. Thanks a lot.